got lots of movies. Lots of new ones. And I'm gonna show you them today. Bet you just noticed my shirt changed because I'm lazy and I film this on different days. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. He doesn't like me. So first up we have Apollo 11. It's the only documentary we have and it's really good. You feel like you're actually watching the event take place and they, they actually took 70 millimeter footage back in 69 and it looks like IMAX like nowadays. This movie basically disproves the moon landing hoax conspiracy thing because there's lots of shots that they discovered of hundreds of people working on computers and new shots of moon stuff. So the person filming that would have have to have been like, hey guys, I know that this is all fake, but I'm just gonna record all of it, so we'll put it in a movie 50 years from now. Next up, Austin Powers Trilogy. Yeah, it's just, you know, guilty pleasures. Brave. Yeah, in Sean's quest to find all the Pixar movies with slipcovers on Blu-ray, he got Brave. Clue. This is like so funny. It's like one of my favorite movies. The comedy is so like funny, but you have to think about it. Like a joke will happen and then two seconds later you'll be like, wow, wow, that is funny. Game Night. This is another really funny comedy, but it also has unique cinematography. It's not just boring shots of people saying jokes. Gone with the wind. Yeah, just, we, I just wanted it on Blu-ray. You know how Endgame just recently got the highest grossing movie of all time? Well, nothing's gonna beat this. It got about $400 million in 1939, so adjusted for inflation, it's $3.7 billion. I'd like to see Avengers 5 beat that. The Grand Budapest Hotel. This is uh, Wes Anderson, and it's just a really um, unique, funny movie, just like, that's Mr. Fox and his other movies. Incredibles 2. Yeah, I, you know, really like it, but definitely not as much as the first. I mean, I mean <laughs> Citizen Kane isn't as good as the first. And and for all those people that think this is painfully average, I disagree strongly! And since we like The Incredibles so much, Sean actually got the soundtrack on vinyl. Let's listen to it. Okay, that's enough. I don't want my channel to get taken down. Indiana Jones, the complete collection. Yeah. I'm one of those people that like Last Crusade more than Raiders of the Lost Ark. I know Raiders of the Lost Ark is like really good, but for me, it's like, I watched The Last Crusade more as a child. It's more nostalgic for some reason. It has everything that made Raiders great, like great action and good story and mystery and Sean Connery. The Lego Movie and The Lego Movie 2. Yeah. The Lego Movie is like one of my favorite movies because, you know, since I like Lego and I like good movies and I like this one a lot too because the songs and the animation is all really good. Men in Black. Minority Report. This is a steel book. The best movie ever made. <laughs> Monsters Inc. And what I think is the most underrated Pixar movie besides Ratatouille. The Nice Guys. It's like a really funny comedy that that we just heard was good and so we just got it just to see how it was. Pacific Rim. And the next up and the complete opposite of Pacific Rim, Schindler's List. Yeah, I actually haven't watched it because I don't feel like dying. But I've heard that it's kinda like the first five minutes of Pirates of the Caribbean 3, like hanging children but for three hours. Up next is Shazam! Yeah, it's actually by far the best DC movie and I like it. I just got it because it was the only one I really liked. Shrek and Shrek 2. And Shrek 2 is the third best animated movie of all time. And, it, and if you watch Shrek 2, you know why. Up. Oh crap, now it's down. More Pixar movies that is needed to be bought on Blu-ray. Wallace and Gromit, The Curse of the Were-Rabbit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, fun. yeah, fun story. Um, you know that, if you watch this, you know that scene, like, in the middle where Wallace brutally transforms into a rabbit? Yeah, when I was, like, three years old or four, 
or five, I don't know. When I first watched it, I was like really scared of that scene. Yeah, it was like one of those childhood trauma things that that people were like hashtagging, that people were like nominating other people to do. I think this is basically the only thing I was actually remember being scared of. Like I was hiding behind a pillow and stuff. But I'm growing up and I know that's like actually just really silly. But I still like it. And finally, the last Blu-ray that we got in alphabetical order, Wally, with a slipcover, because me and Sean's OCD won't have it any other way. So now the only Pixar movies that we need on Blu-ray is A Bug's Life, Cars, and Ratatouille. Wait, isn't there another one? No, no, there, no, that one doesn't exist. And now for the DVDs that we got, there's much less DVDs, don't worry, you're not gonna be bored. Aladdin. <laughs> We didn't grow up with like the hand-drawn Disney Renaissance movies, we grew up with Pixar movies. So we just, I recently watched this like two years ago and it's just really good. The Astaire and Rogers collection. These are a collection of movies starring Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers that all came out in the 1930s. Sean likes old musicals like this. The movies are Flying Down to Rio, The Gay Divorcee, Roberta, Top Hat, Full of the Fleet, Swing Time, Shall We Dance Carefree, The Story of Vernon and Irene Castle, and The Barclays of Broadway. You probably have never heard of those movies because you're probably like under 20 years old, definitely, most definitely, unless you're my parents. Hi, hi, dad. And Swing Time was recently released on Criterion, Blu-ray, the only one of these on Blu-ray, and so Sean wants that as well. Do the Continental. Um, Going My Way and Holiday Inn. Sean, Sean got this for Going My Way. It stars Bing Crosby, uh, the guy who sung White Christmas and Holiday Inn, and the 40s, yeah, you don't care. Gumby, the complete 80s series, well, volume one. Yeah, I, I like stop motion, so I was checking out Gumby, and since I have the 50s and the 60s, so I got the 80s. And lastly, the X-Files mythology collection. There's abduction, black oil, colonization, and super soldiers. Yeah, funny story, this. Th these were at Newbury Comics at, my, at the mall. I won't disclose the location. But it was there for like years and years. And then when Sean finally had enough money to buy all of them, literally only this one was left, the season nine and season eight and nine, the crap ones. So he just bought the rest off of Amazon and and that's that. Oh, also just yesterday, me and Sean got Alita Battle Angel. The, the special effects and action are just so incredible in this movie. And if this doesn't get nominated for Best Visual Effects, I'm gonna do the same thing every year, not watch the Oscars. And, and I got for myself Missing Link. Yeah, it's a stop motion movie from the same company that brought you Coraline and those other weird stop motion movies. I haven't watched it yet. I hope it's as good as the other ones. So that was an update of all the movies. Oh, and by the way, here's an update of my Thomas DVDs. Thomas' Christmas Wonderland in the early years. Since I got these, I now have every Thomas DVD that was released by Anchor Bay Entertainment, and also every DVD that was released to have episodes from the model series. And free inside music CD sampler, when I found this at Goodwill, it didn't have the CD sampler, so that's that sucks. But it always has the DVD and a little pamphlet, and you know, that's two of the three things that matter. Early years. Hey! <laughs> Why is it so we always fight when we make these Blu-ray videos? Do the VHSs? Fine, if you edit it. Okay. <sighs> so here is an update of our VHSs. First, let's start with the Disney ones. Dumbo, the Black Diamond release. 101 Dalmatians, The Sword in the Stone, and The Jungle Book. So now the only Black Diamond VHSs that I don't have are Sn Sleeping Beauty and Lady and the Tramp. And now for the Masterpiece Collection, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, 
Bambi, Cinderella, and another version of Mary Poppins. This one I had before, and now this is a different one. The Jungle Book, the 30th anniversary, and the Aristocats. And now for the regular size VHSs, I have Close Encounters of the Third Kind. This is the like RCA ones with a red bolt with a red border, and and you can't just slip it out. You have to like you have to do that. That's weird. It's like oh yeah, and here's the top of a Thomas Pez dispenser that I found. Creature Comforts. It's an Ardman short, and it's really cool. They just inter they basically just interview a bunch of people about random shit, and then and then just do a claymation over it. Die Hard with a Vengeance. Yeah, when's the last time you saw that? Never, because I'm only 18. The Polar Express. Yeah, the Polar Express on VHS. We definitely needed this. Twilight Zone the movie, and finally. More X Files VHSs. This is Wave Four with the episodes Irresistible, Die Hand, Die for Let's Said, Colony and Endgame, and Humbug and Anasazi. Oh, and want to see an update of my take alongs? I have Mighty Mac. I'm Mighty. And I'm Mac. And I also have the character card that came with it. Yeah, don't you just miss these? Yeah, I do. And finally, new in box, the Jack Jumps In movie car. Yeah, I don't know how the technology works inside of there, because when you turn this, you like see different slides if you put it up to the light from... Oh, and by the way, I got the wooden railway version of Mighty Mac.